And I'm burning like fire And you are all the stars I'm drawn in desire And you have to think twice It's hard to keep smiling When I try to set things straight You don't even listen I'm just getting late You're on a mission What's going on guys? Gino Checker back here for another video today and this is the official start of my contest prep 17 weeks out. Now, I actually was planning on starting my contest prep uh, starting January but in order to allow myself to have more time, uh, not have to be aggressive towards the end of prep and not having to punish myself for not giving me enough time uh, to prep and be ready before the competition. I uh, decided to start at 70 weeks out on December 12th in 2018. Uh, now the show date is April 20th in 2019, so that leaves me at 17 weeks out at the moment. Uh, and I'm pretty much ahead of schedule, uh, if you ask me. I took a look at my shape with a pump after a workout in the gym, uh, with some pretty natural lighting. Uh, the light came from the side, so uh, it was uh, pretty accurate view of where my shape is currently and I was pretty stoked to see uh, where I was already at just starting a kind of small little flexible cut uh, beforehand like two weeks prior so uh, you can basically say that I started at 19 weeks out uh, but it was just you know being flexible having some low days uh, and then having some high days and then not tracking at all for a couple of days so I was just virtually dropping a little bit of weight and that allowed me to have a really nice starting point for this prep that I'm going to be doing. So prep is starting now. Uh, I've already made an Instagram post going all in depth on uh, my mindset and approach to this competition prep since uh, I'll go in depth in the video as well. So I'll actually read the post on here for you guys. So this prep is not going to be about being able to get first place. Now, of course it'd be nice to get a nice placing but in my eyes, that's not what it's all about. Now, this prep is going to be a learning experience for me. Finding out what I'm capable of, what it takes, improving in every aspect of life, not letting it consume me, and above all, give value. You know, my biggest passion has always been, and still is, helping people, giving value. Um, this prep that I'm going to be doing is obviously a learning experience for me, but I'm going to be taking you guys on along with my own journey. So I'm going to be filming everything, uh, showing you guys what it's like, how I'm feeling, uh, and especially near the end of prep, since uh, that's what I'm actually most curious about in terms of uh, hormonal changes. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, treating this as a sort of diary. But that's actually what the meaning of a vlog is, you know, a video log in which you share how you're feeling and all that stuff. So. Uh, training wise, nutrition wise, I'm going to be putting everything on the table and just taking guys along with me on this journey towards my first bodybuilding competition. I'm going to be competing in the bodybuilding junior class. Uh, it's uh, in the INBA, which is a tested federation here in the Netherlands. And that was actually one of my goals to compete in a tested organization so that I don't have to stand alongside a lot of juicers. which is uh, something that uh, really put me off of competing for a long time. So I uh, finally stumbled upon a federation that is tested. And um, like I said, I'm going to be 
embarking on this journey and taking you guys with me. So without further ado, here's the first episode of my competition series. It is a Monday and as you may or may not know, Monday is my upper body day with the bench press as the primary combat movement. So uh, I'm meeting up with a good friend of mine called Glenn and we've actually never met before but we've been following each other for about four years now on Instagram. Um, we have a very similar mindset, very similar approach to training and nutrition so we decided to meet up at my local gym that I always train at to uh, hit a nice little upper body session. But right now it's time for the pre-workout meal. So what I have right here is a container of Quark 500 grams. Four rice cakes with in total 23 grams of peanut butter. A nice little banana for a carb boost. And two mandarins for some extra fruits. <laughs> Alright so my pre-workout of choice hasn't changed one bit in the past six months or something. Uh, it's still as you can see here citrulline malate for a better blood flow since it promotes vasodilation which is the widening and opening of the blood vessels which very logically creates a better pump or potential for a greater pump uh, and then of course for taste and for convenience since i have one powder uh, or have all the powders in one drink i have creatine monohydrate with uh, let me see mixed berry flavor which is actually Pretty damn tasty if you ask me. So I mix these in. I use 8 grams of citrine malate, which is the clinically proved dosage uh, to be the most effective for citrine malate. And for creatine, 3 to 5 grams, but most of the time 5 grams simply for convenience. And I don't really feel like weighing out my creatine. So I just take one scoop, put it in the drink, drink the drink, and then head to the gym. Alright, so you're seeing some bench press footage right here from the upper body workout that I hit with my bro, Glenn. Uh, I highly suggest you guys follow him on Instagram. Uh, I believe it's at Glenn the Bodybuilder. Uh, it's simply because he's an awesome dude. Uh, he has a very similar mindset, work ethic and uh, way of working out compared to me. So uh, it was really fun working out with him and uh, finally meeting up after following each other for four years or something. <laughs> Like I said, this is the bench footage that I'm going to be commentating over. In terms of my prep and the way that I'm going to be training, it's pretty much going to be the exact same as I did for the past like half a year or basically as I've been doing like forever. Um, especially if you want to lose body fat and maintain your muscle mass, it's really important to keep on doing the same things that you did in order to build that muscle mass. Simply because if you try to do tons of different things and switch to uh, low weight and high rep training uh, that you hear a lot of bro science about uh, that muscle mass that you've built with the way of training that you did you know in order to build the muscle mass has no reason to stay uh, so you're seeing my top set of 120 kilograms for a three to five rep set <laughs> and i hit the five so uh, the next workout I had been upping to two and a half kilograms, uh, well, 122 and a half kilograms, I mean, and then again for another three to five. So I'm still going to be doing my reverse pyramid training program. If you want to cop it and hop on the game train, go to my website in the link in the description and cop the program. And for the rest, you know, like I said, everything is going to be saying the exact same. Still going to be running my upper lower split, doing the reverse pyramid training programming and maintain my strength during this prep or this cut or however you want to call it so uh, like i said i highly suggest everyone who hops on a cut or tries to lose their body fat to keep on doing the same stuff that you have been doing in order to build that muscle mass if you want to maintain your muscle mass when you get shredded
All right, everyone, and that concludes the first episode of my competition prep series. Now, like I said, I'm going to be taking you guys along the entire journey. So I'm going to be vlogging as much as I humanly can and try to educate you guys as much as possible since this is going to be a learning experience for me. Uh, I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like and I'm obviously going to be sharing how I feel, the good days, the bad days and just take you guys along the entire experience with me. So I hope you're as excited as I am and if you are and if you enjoyed the video then please smash the like button because that truly helps out the channel grow and spread the videos out to a lot more people. Comment down below on what you liked and what you would like to see next. Subscribe to the channel for so much more content coming really soon. I'm out guys and peace out. See you in the next one.